of freedom, his spirit was born. Thara, they named him Thara. Like the wind, like the wind that is free. Thara, they named him Thara. To be king of the bush, his destiny. In the secret mountain veils, through the mist and ancient trees. The ghost like horse so proudly Silent as the breeze Thara They named him Thara He's the son of the wind Strong and free Thara They named him Thara And a king Yes, a king He will be After getting lost and wandering in circles in the snow-covered high country, our friend Arrow redeemed himself with his accidental rescue of the two foals trapped in a frozen canyon. But now his spirits have taken a tumble, as food worth eating is difficult to find. trying to eat a tree. No, horses aren't supposed to eat trees, Arrow. No, horses are supposed to eat grass and stuff like that. Ah, uh, oats and barley, uh, if you can get it. Grass? Oats and barley? Are you two dreaming? Just take a look around. Do you see any grass or oats or barley? Hmm, you do have a point, Arrow. I can't see any. How about you, Mew? Do you see any grass or oats or barley? Uh, not a skerricky. Nothing like that at all. This is all Farah's fault. It's his big idea to stay above the snow line this winter because he reckons it's safer. But what good's that if you starve to death anyhow? Good question, Mew, don't you think? What good can that be if you starve to death? Oh, there's only one creature that can answer that question, eh? Farah! Yeah, that's right. And I'm going to go and ask him. See ya. Oh, looks like we're in for it, Mew. Oh, we'd best head for shelter. said he'd be here. No sense of time, these young Brumbies. We'll give him a few more minutes, Silky, and then we'll head down while we still can. Huh. What? What? Thara! Hi, Benny. Hi, Silky. Thanks for waiting to say goodbye. We couldn't have waited much longer, Thara. Our friends are well and truly below the snow line by now. I'm sorry, Benny. Silky, I, I lost track of time. You'd best be going. If the snow gets heavier, you'll be stuck here for the whole of winter. Achoo! Bye, Thara. Enjoy your winter's safety. Thanks, Benny. It's a long time since it's been this cold in early winter. Yeah, just as well I got in an extra load of firewood. Uh, uh, oh. 
This weather's cold enough to turn an ice cube blue. What I wouldn't do to be back in a nice, warm, feathery nest. <sighs> Better find some shelter down below till this blizzard blows over. Remember, or a night to forget more like it. Now, what am I supposed to have for breakfast? The snow's deeper than ever. Oh. Ah, ah. Is that a flea I spot on that rock down there? I'm doing? Getting some breakfast, you blithering numbskull. Now, what do you think you're doing? Breakfast? Since when did birds eat brumbies for breakfast? As a matter of fact, I am hungry enough to eat a horse, no matter how mediocre the quality of the meat. Yeah? Well, this horse isn't available, Carawong. <laughs> yep. I suggest you go and take a bite out of your boss, the Brolga. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> I wonder what the Brolga would taste like. Yeah. Time for one more cup, I reckon. Then I'll call it a night. Cold. Anybody think I was living inside a fridge? And it's stuffy. What? Oh, no crows! Mopuk, Mopuk. What's this? A pile of stones that yells and groans? Oh, what a blow! The prospector's hut buried by the snow. Stung a crow's a mopoke. I only wish you were a homing pigeon. I could send a message for help. South gorging ourselves on sweet, succulent grass. But here we are with nothing to eat but icicles. Well, that's the good thing about the Secret Valley, Arrow. It's sheltered, and we can still get at the grass. The snow's not too thick. <laughs> yeah, here you are with nothing but endless chatter. Clear off and leave me in peace. Mopoke, good to see you. How's the winter treating you? The winter's treating me all right, but it's given the old prospector quite a fright. Why? What's happened? That blizzard put on quite a show. It's buried his hut under a huge pile of snow. Buried it? Along with the prospector? That's right. He's trapped inside. Follow me. I'll be your guide. Hey! Wait for me! And God riddance! 
It's a good idea for Thara to stay above the snow line to avoid capture, but we don't have that problem. I'm looking forward to getting down south where it's a bit warmer. Me too! <laughs> okay, I can take a hint. Let's go. Silver Bramby. I need help. Do you understand? <laughs> you two stay and keep watch here. Should any humans venture this way, most unlikely. Should any humans venture this way, try and attract their attention. I'm going to head down south and see if I can get help. Good luck. Don't get lost. Hello, hello, hello. What's this? Mm, smarty Pants Thara heading straight towards the mighty Brolga's winter pasture. The boss will want to know about this. <laughs> Huh? Karawong! I thought I told you to stay in the high country this winter. I'm tired of your warbling waffle. My ears need a rest. But you know I catch kills easily, mighty master of the Mystic Mountains. I knew you didn't really mean it. Oh, yes, I did really mean it, you useless layabout. Why have you disobeyed my instructions? Thaura, sire. Heading this way. Fast. Thaura? What? Can I ever be free of that pest? He must be searching out a winter pasture for his herd, and he'll want mine. If you move quickly, El Superbo, you can cut him off at the pass. The pass, yes, that's it. Good thinking, Karawong. For once, I'll spring a trap at the pass. Follow me! Aye, aye! With pleasure! So, Thara, we meet again. You do have a talent for showing up where you're least expected, Brolga. And least wanted, too, no doubt. I don't want trouble. I'm on an errand of mercy. Ha! Mercy for who, Thara? Just thought you'd move in on my winter pasture, did you? Well, you'd better think again. I'm not after any winter pasture. The old prospector's hut is buried in snow and I'm trying to get help. Ha! 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 That's a new one, Thara. Your imagination never ceases to amaze me. <laughs> this is not imaginary, Broger. The old prospect of his... <laughs> It's all very 
very well for Thara to say, stay here. While he goes for a run to warm up, we stand here and freeze. Typical. Hey, look at that arrow. Ah, that's better. At least I won't freeze to death if the wood holds out. <laughs> then I can burn the furniture. Hmm, plenty of tin food, won't starve. And a bit of snow and a belly alongside the fire, won't die of thirst. Reckon I could hold out here for some time, providing the roof doesn't cave in, that is. Oh, no! There's no doubt about it. This is the way to keep warm. You should try it, Boon Boon. <laughs> He's thawing out. About time. What in jumping jackrabbits is going on? We just saved you from freezing to death, Karawong. Feeling better? Ah! Hmm, I reckon the ski lodge is over there, Anne, to our right. No wonder people get lost in the snow. Look, Tom, the trail marker is on that tree over there. The ski lodge is on our left. You're right again, Anne. Where would I be without you? <laughs> Lost, I dare say. Anne, it's a Brumby. That's not just any old Brumby, Tom. You're right, it's the Silver Brumby, the one that saved us last year. It looks as though he wants us to follow him. Do you think we should? What are we waiting for? Let's go. Master, an invader heading into your territory. Yes, yes, Karawong, you told me, remember? I just gave Thaura the severe thrashing he's had coming for some time. Not Thaura, El Magnifico, but a rattling, snow-eating beast spouting heat and smoke. And it also likes to eat Karawongs. What? Not another beast. Why don't they all stay at home? Because they don't realize they'll incur the wrath of the mighty Brolga, who'll shatter and splatter them all over the landscape. Uh, very well, Karawong. Show me where this thing is. Lead the way. <laughs> Thumping or the whole roof will cave in. I think the old prospect is yelling about something. <laughs> Pleased to know that help's at hand, no doubt. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, Arrow. He didn't sound too happy. <laughs> Uh-oh. Now oh, it was right round here somewhere, sire. Silver Brumby bringing help. I should have known. Hi, what's up? 
What's going on? Can we be of any help? Thanks for coming, but you're a bit late to help me, but you may be able to help him. <laughs> He landed right in my living room along with a pile of snow. I was able to climb out, but he's kind of stuck. I think I know what to do. And you stay here while I go and get help. My son, what's the problem? There's a Brumby stuck in a hole not far from here. We need your help. Another one? <laughs> Seems to be quite a day for Brumbies with problems. Oh, my head. Carawan. Oh, Carawan. In time. Come on, everybody. All aboard. We've got to get back before this weather gets worse. Oh, <laughs> what a relief to see you guys. <laughs> Bye, Silver Brumby. Bye. And thanks for the rescue. Without those Brumbies, I'd have been buried here till next spring. Once again, winter had proven its volatility and danger. And once again, on his journey to becoming king of the Cascade Brumbies, Thaura had risen to the challenge. It was not the elements, however, that would pose the next threat, but the very Earth itself. Following the ravages of a long, cold winter, the creatures of the high country take delight in the spring air and look forward to the coming months of warmth and abundant food. Boop, 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 boop. Hey, 
Emus, Emus, it's good to see you out of your nest after such a long winter's rest. Oh, good to see you too, Mopoke. Oh, most categorically, Mopoke. Good to see you too. Oh, good to see you too. Bah! If there were less natter, I could get another week's sleep. Oh, Wombat, just think about the new growth of food. That'll put you in a much better mood. Yeah? Well, sleep's still what I've got on me mind. <laughs> I've got a good feeling about the coming summer, Boon Boon. I feel... I feel it's going to be a season of decision. Time to assume your mantle as king of the Cascade Brumbies, perhaps? Well, perhaps. I, I don't know for sure. But there's definitely something in the air. I can feel it, as though something dramatic is about to happen. I wonder if my father, the Brolga, has the same feeling. He must realise his days are numbered. He gets older and crankier with the passing of every year. What's that? Who's talking about me? Oh, hi, Wombat. Natter, natter, natter. And I'm not crankier than ever. I'm just as cranky as I've always been. <laughs> I promise we're not talking about you, Wombat. It's the Brolga we're on about. Oh, is that so? Old Wombat's not worth talking about, eh? <laughs> Typical. Now, if you don't mind a bit less chatter so I can go back to me sleep and enjoy it. <laughs> 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 There he is, Goody Horseshoes, laughing his head off as usual, trying to impress Boon Boon. I can just imagine what he's saying. I'm going to be the king of the Cascade Brumbies soon, and all that kind of stuff. Huh. Well, that's what he thinks. I'm son of the mighty Yarraman too, and I'm older and stronger than Thara, so it's me who's born to rule, not him. <laughs> The only creature you'll ever convince is that dumb skink, Arrow. The mighty Brolga is the only true king, and he'll outlive both you and that powder puff Thaura. Just you wait and see. <laughs> I know I hit my head hard, but this is ridiculous. I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. You did say something dramatic was about to happen. Here's Benny. He'll know. Earthquake. Earth what? Earthquake. It's when there's movement deep within the ground. Very destructive and rare in these parts. At least nobody was injured, I think. Everybody okay? Yep. 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 Hey, there's a yep missing. Where's Baby Wombat? Baby Wombat? Where are you? Baby Wombat! Mm. Oh. <laughs> Baby Wombat! Baby Wombat! No, don't panic. Keep a clear head. Baby Wombat! Where are you? Are you in there? There's always a chance he's been caught in an air pocket. All we can do is dig. Dig, dig! There, boy. It's OK now. Take it easy. That was one big shake. Hasn't been one like it for decades. But I'm sure I heard a Brumby in the middle of it. Over there. You don't suppose that one of those rocks may have landed on Thaura and... Ja! Right? Ja! Ja! Help! Uh-oh. Arrow's in trouble again. Ja! Ja! You can't help here. Better see what's up. Thank you. 
he get to? He can't just vanish into thin air. Thaura, Arrow's been chased yet again, but at least he's learned to use his brain. What do you mean, Mopoke? Where is he? He's made his escape, you can bet, but in the process got rather wet. Wet? The waterfall? The cave behind the waterfall? That's right, you got it in one. That's where Arrow made his run. <laughs> Thanks, Mopoke. It's testimony to the size of my intellect that my brain being knocked about could cause an earthquake like that. Ah. Uh, ah! Uh. Arrow, it's all right now. The coast is clear. Arrow, I said you can come out now. The rider is gone. A waterlogged ear can no longer hear. That's what's happened, I truly fear. Hmm. Well, perhaps you're right, Mopoke. Now I'd better go in and get him. Better report this to the bus. Hmm. Curious? No sign of him. Arrow! 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 Are you back there? So helpless. I, I just wish there was something I could do. I know how you feel, Boon Boon, but there's little we can do but offer encouragement and hope. There are no better diggers in the high country than wombats. Just finished repairs after another big dummy like yourself broke it earlier. Oh, that must have been Arrow. Oh, I'm looking for him. Sorry about the web. It's hard to see in the dark. Oh, that's cold comfort to me, matey. How's an honest spider supposed to catch a square meal with brumbies clopping around down here? Sorry again. I'll try to be more careful in the future. And by the way, since when did Brumbies live underground anyway? <laughs> master! Master! Ah, such a relief to see you safe, your luxuriant lordship. Safe? And why shouldn't I be safe, Karawong? That earthquake, sire, I was afraid it might have shaken you off your rock and sent you crashing down. <laughs> it would take more than that to dislodge the mighty Brolger, Karawong. Oh, that's a relief, sire. Especially as the quake was partly my fault. Your fault? How could... Ah, uh, brainwave, sire. You see... I was flung about, and the vibrations of my giant intellect set off a chain reaction. Giant intellect. <laughs> it's true. I promise you. Just before I saw Thaura looking for Arrow in the cave behind the waterfall. What? <laughs> you stand there babbling about brainwaves when both claimants to my throne are bottled up in a cave. This is my chance to get rid of them once and for all. <laughs> That water, 
It must be the freshest and purest I've ever tasted. I can feel new energy coursing through my veins. How will I ever be able to describe the beauty of this wondrous place to the others? son of yours is a pile of bleaching bones. Huh? And there he is. <laughs> Arrow, here I am. Oh, 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 Farah, fancy meeting you here. Um, lost your way, have you? Lost my way? I, I thought you needed help, Arrow. Who, me? <laughs> Why, of course not. I was just testing my vocal cords. Then what are you doing here? Well, I, uh, I, uh, I just dropped in for a bit of cool air. It was getting too hot outside. Then you don't need my help to show you the way out, then. Oh, now, let's not be too hasty. I mean, I appreciate you've gone out of your way, and I don't want to spoil your fun.
you two this time. There's no escape. Sarah, I'm touring. I can't keep going. You must, Arrow. There must be some way out of here. of Yaraman, those who would be king, caught like rats in a trap. Prepare to meet your father for the final roundup in the sky. Still fallen through the air with a brumby's head in the way. Typical. Wombat! Good on you! You're a legend! You okay, baby Wombat? Oh, no bones broken, I think. Yeah? Well, what about me? I've got a sore head. A sore head! Your sore head will be the least of our worries if we can't get out of here, Wombat! Trapped like rats forever! Doomed to a life of darkness with nothing but moss and frogs to eat! It's not fair! I'm not so sure. I think... I think I can feel a gentle flow of fresh air from over there. Oh. Yes. The air's getting fresher, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm not so sure. I think you're imagining things, Thara. I think we should be going back the other way. <laughs> How about a little less natter? The air is getting fresher. Yeah, well, I don't think. Look, up ahead. Sunlight. Right back where we started. Hooray! Comes as no surprise to me. I knew it all along. I don't believe my eyes. We thought we'd lost you two wombats forever. And Thaura, how did you end up with them? It's a long story, Benny. Yeah, well, I led the Brolger underground, you see, to get him lost. And... The Brolger? So where is he now? <laughs> Still back in the cave. Out cold. <laughs> oh, mighty master, where are you? Can you hear me? Oh, mighty Brolgar, answer me. It's your faithful Karawang come to save you. Over here, Karawang. Oh. Ah, ha! Ah, coming, sir! Dynamic, dynastic dinosaur, I've come to lead you out of the darkness. You can count on me. Oh, about time, Karawan. Lead the way. This way, sire. No, sire! This way! Uh. Yeah! Uh-oh. Did you hear something coughing and spluttering in the river? Oh, I do believe I did, eh? Definitely something in the river. A definite possibility. What do you suppose it was? Uh, a drowning fish, perhaps? Oh, look over there. Uh, are you OK, boss? <laughs> That 
that's not a fish, Mew. It's the mighty Broga. Oh, king of the Cascade Brumbies. But he doesn't look much like a king today, Mew. No, not very kingly at all. Perhaps his days as king of the Cascade Brumbies are numbered, Mew. Oh, perhaps you're right, eh? His days could well be numbered. Who do you suppose could take over? Oh, uh, Thaur is a possibility. Yes, Thaur is a possibility, definitely. <laughs> So the creatures of the high country came to fear and respect even more the awesome and unpredictable power of nature. While discovering an underground world they never knew existed. And Thaura took heart from Yaraman's wise words as he moved one step closer to his ultimate destiny.